Hi guys. The other day when I tried to stabilize my footage in Catalyst Browse, a message popped up. It said the clip does not contain sufficient metadata for stabilization. Stabilization has been cancelled. Normally when you open your files in Catalyst Browse, you will see this icon on the thumbnail of your footage. It means that the driver data was recorded, so you can use Catalyst Browse to stabilize it. And if there is no icon, it means that there is no driver data recorded, so there is really nothing you can do about it. In this video, I'm going to show you what kind of format settings are supported by Catalyst Browse so that you can avoid ending up with a bunch of files with no metadata for stabilization. So here I have already opened a folder and I named the files according to their format. These footages were shot with Sony ZV-E10 camera and the Sony 18 to 105 mm lens. This lens has built-in stabilization, so when you go to camera menu, tag to page 3 of 9, you can choose steady shot. There are three items to choose from. You can choose stabilization off, which means no stabilization at all, or you can choose standard stabilization which means it will only use the lens stabilization. There won't be any crop to your footages. Or you can choose active steady shot, which provides a more powerful steady shot effect. But there will be a crop to your footages. Now back to Catalyst Browse. On the first row, we have these 4K 25 frames per second footages. Steady shot, active, off, and standard. And on the second row, we have this 50 frames per second HD footages, and the resolution is 1080. Again, we have steady shot, active, off, and standard. And on the third row, we have this 100 frames per second HD footages, active, off, and standard. Finally, we have an SNQ footage. You can see clearly that for the 4K 25fps and the HD 50fps footages, steady shot active and off are supported by Catalyst Browse. If you have a lens with stabilization and you turn lens stabilization on, which means when you choose standard steady shot, then the video you recorded will not have the metadata for Catalyst Browse. However, when you set the video format to 100 frames per second or SNQ, no matter which steady shot mode you choose, there won't be any metadata, so you cannot stabilize this kind of videos in Catalyst Browse. Alright, I hope I have explained everything clearly enough. My suggestion to fix the problem is that when you shoot the videos, if you already know that there will be a lot of shaking, then set the frame rate to 25 or 50 fps and use active steady shot and then stabilize the footage in Catalyst Browse. Leave some extra space on the edges so that your subject won't be cropped. And if you already know that there won't be a lot of shaking, then turn off the steady shot so you can have a wider view and still use Catalyst Browse for stabilization. Okay, this is today's video. I hope you find this helpful. If you do, please give me a thumbs up and I'll see you next time. Bye.